Hey guys, Rodney Walker here, and I want to talk to you about how to take your knowledge of grant writing and turn it into a profitable money-making business. Yes, I want to share with you some ways that you can use this skill that is highly valuable and begin to make money for your business. And there are a number of ways that this happens. I want to share with you how I've done it, and then I want to share with you how I've seen others in the industry actually do it. You know, there are 1.5 million nonprofit organizations in the United States and growing. And all these nonprofits have something in common. They all have a mission and they all need money to help sustain and to help fulfill that mission. And when you have the skill and the knowledge of how to secure funds and to bring those funds to them, you, my friend, become a very valuable asset to them. So how do you take that knowledge and how do you start working that knowledge to your advantage? Well, first, you have to have the knowledge. And if you don't have the knowledge, I would say, hey, go get some training, go learn. But once you've acquired the knowledge and once you've gotten your feet wet with writing grant proposals, there are a number of ways you can use it. And in fact, there are more ways to make money in doing this besides just simply writing the grant. But let's start with the grant writing for a second. What is required? Here's the first thing. Once you have gotten a skill, the first thing that I would say is that you've got to start thinking and learning what it takes to function as a business owner, okay? And you may start off simply doing freelance freelance grant writing and that's one way to break into this and start doing it where you write a grant proposal for a nonprofit organization that could use your service that needs your service and there's some other ways you can actually say okay great Rodney I want to not only write for this organization when you're doing the freelancing it allows you to kind of work with different organizations so you're not bound to just simply working with one but maybe you say okay great I'm gonna take this knowledge and I'm gonna find some nonprofits that would be open to me actually writing a grant proposal for them and then start working on an actual proposal for them. Now, that means you gotta do a few things. One, that means that you've gotta learn how to market yourself, which means that you've got to gain exposure. You've gotta gain exposure and put yourself out there. If you don't put yourself out there, my friend, you're not gonna get any business. So you can have the skill, you can be able to do it, but if you don't put yourself out there, nobody will never know that you exist. So part of the game of taking your knowledge and turning your knowledge into money requires that you start marketing yourself, okay? Now, there are a number of ways to market yourself. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but here's what I would encourage you to do. I would say go look at some other videos and look at how can you market yourself and start learning how to market. Just as much time as you spend in learning the skill of learning how to do grant writing, the next part of what you need to do is to start learning how to effectively market yourself. And there are numerous ways. I will just real quickly rattle off a few ways. You can market yourself by writing articles. You can market yourself by sending notifications and sending an email message out to potential and prospective clients, letting them know about your service. You can market by going to networking events where there are other executive directors there that will possibly need your service. You can also market yourself by doing things on social media, getting on the various social media platforms and sharing your expertise with them, letting them know what you know, and really helping them with your insight that you have about securing grant funding. Those are just real quickly a few ways to do it. You see, a part of what you have to do is get the word out about what you're doing, okay? That's the name of the game. In addition to that, as you get the word out and as you let them know about your services, then many of them are gonna wanna know about pricing and that's where the other part of this comes in that begins to help make you money. You have to learn, my friend, how to become an advisory salesperson where you actually share with them what you have but take them down a path that helps them to see that you, the person they wanna work with, and then you have to close the deal. Now, how do you go about closing the deal, Rodney? Great question. Well, 
I'm a big fan of advisory selling where when you go to a person, you're not just simply pitching information to them and just throwing information at them. You're really listening to hear what they have to say and really hearing what they're seeking to do. And you make an assessment of if you can indeed help them, which requires, my friend, that you listen. And as you listen to them, find out what it is that they want and what they need. And then you present to them what you have to offer if it is a good match, okay? Now, that's more than I have enough time to kind of go into detail about with this particular video, but I wanna let you know in essence, the essence of what you do is you take the skill, you market the skill, you get the word out, and let people know that you have something to offer that can help them, and then that, my friend, turns into money. I hope this has helped you, and if you have other questions, feel free to let me know, and remember, with all you do, be brave, be bold, and be brilliant, and take charge.